I'm actually going to a fertility clinic. Okay, done all my calls and now I'm filming a TikTok. Baby Allegra, you were such a fucking mess. Good morning, happy Tuesday. I am just heading to a meeting with our manufacturer, with Sharin. So I'm gonna meet Sharin while I mask. Got this one from Revolve, it's so cute. So we're going to meet the manufacturer to talk about some things we'll be doing for the fall and winter. So let's go. Hi. Hola. Okay, done all my calls and now I'm filming a TikTok. filming I'm wearing this oversized shirt it's like 7 30 the sun setting i don't know if you can see time to go home and have dinner i'm so tired i did so much work today good morning happy wednesday i have a doctor's appointment i'm actually going to a fertility clinic and I don't think that this video has been released yet. I do have content surrounding my fertility clinic stuff. I just am unsure if I'm gonna put it up because the internet is mean and um, it's obviously very personal. So still deciding, still gonna vlog it. Still deciding if I'm gonna like share the whole experience or whatever. So let's go to the clinic. The boyfriend's not coming because I just thought it was weird. Like. I just didn't want him to feel like, come with me to the fertility clinic because I want to have your babies. <laughs> so I'm like, I'll just go alone, no big deal. This is my mask from Revolve. I think I already said that, but how cute is it? We're going to Happy Monday. It's the end of the day. It's around 6 p.m., but we're going to the Van Gogh exhibit. And this is my outfit today. Uh, my shoes are Colin Projects. My shorts are, I don't know the brand. I want to say Jing. Shirt is Old Uncle Studios. And then this bag is a bag when I, I got when I was in Kenya in 2011. It's a little broken, but... And then my mask. I don't know, someone sent them to me. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I think people think I'm a tourist when I do this. Yeah. Here or here? We went to the Van Gogh exhibit last night and it was okay. Like it was really beautiful and like, oh, I thought it was like a little long for what it was. And we were rushed through, I don't know if this is just like our experience, but we were kind of rushed through the beginning of it. So there was no like learning, like there was no education. Like I know stuff about Van Gogh, but like my boyfriend doesn't. And like, he was like, I just wish I could like have learned more about it, you know? So at the beginning there, we kind of were like rushed through the section with the, um, 
paintings and or sorry the information and we just didn't get to see it so and also i kind of felt like like it was it was really cool but you couldn't like they kind of like mixed paintings together it was cool though like do you know what i'm saying it was fun it was fine so you just like everyone was just wearing a mask and there were circles on the floor and you just like stood in the circle you could like move to different circles if you wanted okay so today this is a new week i'm i put two vlogs together because i stopped vlogging last week just because i had a lot to do and um it was it was just too much to vlog and do everything because like you don't want to see me just sitting on my computer all week you know like that's super boring i'm gonna finish off this vlog today and then i'm gonna start a new vlog tomorrow so i'm gonna go to the office today i asked you guys on instagram my instagram is at a lego shop I'll probably be posted right here i asked you guys to ask me relationship questions because this video is sponsored by BetterHelp which is great. They've sponsored my videos before, but um, I'll get into that and everything when I do the question and answer period, which I'll do at the office. Cause I gotta get ready right now. Packed a bag. I'm gonna film, I have to film a TikTok, so. Brought some clothes and then this is like what I usually wear when we're just going to the office because we actually don't have AC in the office. Um, our AC is broken and we just, you know it's been a little bit bit of a busy time for everyone so we just haven't been able to get one and install it so i'm just wearing a very this is like when we used to screen print on just screen print on t-shirts like random t-shirts very old t-shirt that i tie dyed and then i'm wearing my lululemon um shorts i don't know which ones these are but but they're like the longer ones and i just kind of roll them up where they're comfortable and then i wear sneakers I'm trying to make sure i have everything for this tiktok and i'm just gonna look over my to-do list to make sure that um, I'm getting everything I need to get done, done today. We ordered food at the office from Food Dudes. Yum. Back with Shrin. She's hangry. Very. Oh, we're home. The office makes me so tired because it's very dusty and very hot. There's no AC. If you don't have AC right now, I salute you. I I'm I run so hot that's like ugh. But um, home now in my nice air conditioned unit. I'm grateful for my AC. I didn't grow up with AC, so I'm grateful for it. You know. Got some samples made. A fun part. Well, I don't know if it's fun, but this is a we're doing a sweater and this is a sample. And what I get to do now is wear the shit out of this. I'm gonna wear it in the apartment because it's a sweater, obviously. I'm gonna wash it and wear it and like make sure that it's durable. What I do is like, I have a t-shirt, for example, like when we first did the t-shirt, I washed it like a million times when like hot and like saw how it wore and whatever. So I do that like a bunch to make sure that the, the items wear nicely. So we have a sweater, sneak peek. I have to film a TikTok still. Way too hot in the office to film. Yeah, I picked up a graphic tee. This is our graphic tee. I didn't have one, so I picked up an extra small. I'm gonna just get my shit together and then we're gonna do the relationship Q&A. And welcome to the relationship portion of the vlog. <laughs> I asked you on my Instagram, which is Adelaide Rashaw, some questions about relationships, and I'm gonna answer them here on the vlog. This portion of the video is sponsored by BetterHelp, and they have sponsored my videos before. Sponsored my anxiety tips during quarantine. They have sponsored just uh, videos in the past because I think they are such a great service. BetterHelp is an online therapy and counseling service. You sign up and within 24 hours, you are matched with a therapist or counselor. They have group sessions, they have single sessions, they have sessions for couples if you need. It's about $65 a week, but they do have financial aid if you do need it. Therapy, I think, fuck, I think everyone needs therapy. Sometimes it's hard to do in person, especially with la pandemic, Miss Rona who is here right now, it can be really hard to kind of go out and find a therapist. So I think online therapy is amazing. I think having a screen just is a bit of a security blanket and it's really great. If you want to check out BetterHelp, you can get 10% off your first month with the code betterhelp.com slash Allegra. And it'll be on, that link will be on the screen. It'll be linked down below as well. I just want to kind of reiterate that this isn't a suicide prevention hotline or anything like that. So if you're really struggling with, with those very dark thoughts and suicidal thoughts, um, this is not the place for you. I will leave some help um, and some resources down below if that is what you're struggling with. So thank you so much, BetterHelp. I think that you are an incredible service. And let's get into talking about relationships because this is one of my favorite, one of my favorite topics. 
guys i just have to say like fuck there's so many questions that i just i want to like talk to you all and i just like want to have conversations with you because like okay i'm just gonna say quickly that i won't be talking about my last relationship in depth i think that i have put out a video on why we broke up I put out a video on how to get over a relationship, but that chapter is kind of closed. Of course, like that was a relationship, so I'll kind of be like touching on my experiences, but I'm not gonna get into details about like why we broke up and stuff. I've already done that. That is still the same, and um, I just, that's kind of it. That's kind of it on that. Okay, I have all the questions written down, and we're gonna do this. So, first question um, is how can I change toxic behavior in a relationship and I feel you I hear you I used to be a very uh, toxic person not not person I had toxic behavior and I did that I, I didn't really understand I just had some issues and I think therapy is like number one I went to therapy in university specifically for relationships I had a lot of issues and a lot of trauma that I needed to work out in order to be able to have healthy relationships. I definitely think like reading books, I think working on yourself, but I definitely think like getting skills and tools from a professional is key. And then this, the second question is also mental health and relationships and how does your depression interfere with your relationship or like yes it it does it's a lot and it's very hard to kind of explain to someone who doesn't suffer from depression or mental illness like what it's like but i think that if someone really cares for you and they will like try to support you the best that they know how to and i think what's really important especially for like for me obviously i can only speak to my experience is i'm very good at um being vocal about specifically what i need or what i'm like asking for so like i just let him know that i don't need him to fix anything i'm not sad about anything i'm just like down or whatever it is i can talk about it and i'm very like aware of it you know the next question is how to have a healthy sex life while you're so busy this one can be tough i i like especially when you work so much and you come home and you're just like oh i'm so tired I also think sometimes it's like pressure to have sex at night. I don't really know why, but I think like some people just, that's not for them. So I think you have to kind of like find what like works best for you in your schedule and I, I make time for it. Like make it a priority, put it into your, into your cal. Everyone's super different. Like, I don't know if you have kids, like it's completely different from like being single and people have sex anywhere, you know? So I know couples who put it into the cal and like have date night and that works for them and others who have it in the morning or in the shower or whatever like you kind of have to figure out what works you have to just make it a priority even when you're super tired and honestly like sometimes it's like you you want to even when even if you're tired you're like it, it wakes you up <laughs> you know what i mean what about a guy captures my interest so i'm very about like vibes <laughs> I'm very about vibes. I really like, like I look at the way someone dresses and like their overall kind of like vibe. And then when I'm talking to them, like wit, they have to be funny. They have to be very nice and kind. I'm very into compassion and empathy. I really like, don't like bro kind of dudes. Like I'm just like, Ugh. So that I just kind of go for vibes. I usually like creative, like, kind of people and yeah how did john and i meet for the first time we met at a bar called the addisons in toronto in four years ago <laughs> it's honestly kind of embarrassing you know how you have like an elevator buddy and like you just see the same person in the elevator all the time i thought that jonathan was my elevator buddy like i saw him around all the time so i went to the addisons one night sure and i got like kind of drunk pretty early and went to the Addison's and I screamed in his face. <laughs> I was like, I know you. And he's like, I don't know you. Like I, I yelled. He's like, I don't know you. And I'm like, no, I know you. I see you around all the time. He was building a restaurant. Like that's why he was around. He didn't notice me at all on King Street. <laughs> he didn't, 
know who I was or anything, but honestly, I guess he thought it was endearing that I just had that much confidence to go scream in his face. Oh, that wasn't even the question. The question is how, why did we end the first time? Yeah, we saw each other like a few years ago. It was very, very casual and we ended just cause like I wanted, I didn't want something casual and he wanted nothing really. It was like, he wanted casual and I was like, peace out. Do I feel sad when we're apart? No, is that rude? Uh, like if I'm traveling and I'm like away for like a while, I'm sure like I'll, I'll feel like I miss him, but like I love being alone. And like, I think being away from your partner is very healthy and having your own life is very healthy. So no. And like, we're not con on in constant communication all the time. Like it's like 8 PM. Oh fuck, he just texted me saying he will be home in a few hours. Yeah, we haven't talked all day. So do I get jealous over my ex? No, I, I genuinely want my ex exes to be happy. Really, really want that. So no, I don't get jealous. Do I want to get married and have babies? Yes. Like I want to experience everything in life that I can experience. So like, that's why I want to have a kid because I want to experience that. Do I want to get married? Uh, like I want to have the wedding. Do I care about the papers and stuff? Like. I don't know, not really, I don't really, I don't know. I don't really know, I don't know. Yeah, 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 I wanna get married and have kids. Yeah, how to get over an ex. I have a full video on this. I've been through my fair share of breakups. I'll link it here. It's a full video. Yeah, that's on that. Advice for my younger self. <laughs> oh, where do we begin, young baby Allegra? You were such a fucking mess. I had a lot of issues with relationships i i think I, I already said this in this video but like i had a lot of trauma and like i had a lot of things that i hadn't dealt with and i think that caused me to act to act just not well in relationships and i also had men do very shitty things to me so my my advice for my younger self would be men ain't shit boys because i was a child but boys aren't everything and like you really should be fostering a relationship with yourself and working on yourself because these boys mean absolutely nothing. And like, I was devastated in my first breakup. Like I was so broken and it's like, I just wish that I just realized like they're just nothing, you know? So I kind of wish I, like, I had TikTok and social media at that time because I feel like TikTok is like, fuck men and I'm like, nice. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like put a lot of emphasis on relationships and when someone wanted to leave me, I like, really like hung on you know and i was very like desperate is a great word to describe it and i i didn't really know why or how or anything so i just i think i should have gone to therapy <laughs> which i did in university and that's when i kind of started the healing process but i was a little late is it too forward to ask a guy out no it's not you will never know if you don't try and also like if that's what you want to do and he's going to be like ew you asked me out i'd be like fuck you you're weak. <laughs> you think it's too forward if a girl asks you out? Like, come on, it's 2020. Friends with exes. Listen, I think it's cool if you want to be friends with your ex. Like, totally cool. I am friends with all of my exes. My boyfriend's friends with his exes and works works for, for me. I think like ma right away it doesn't really work. Like everyone kind of needs a grace period of like getting over it and all that. But I think like if you really genuinely care about someone and you kind of like why wouldn't you want to have that in your life if you can have it in your life you know like those people obviously meant a lot to you so like why would you throw away a good friendship if you are capable of having it i think everyone has their own boundaries and stuff like guessing you're not probably going out for dinner with your ex like every week or something but like i think it's totally fine to like catch up and be friends and be friendly because like why not i'm 21 and haven't had a real relationship thoughts on pressure to find someone baby you are young. Everyone is on their own life path and there's no set rules in society of when you need to be in a relationship and when you don't. And like you do what's best for you. You shouldn't feel any pressure to find someone. You're so young, like just have fun. If you meet someone and you wanna be in a relationship, great. If you don't and you, you know, like that's, it's, it's all, everything is totally okay. And whatever path you're on and whatever life stage you're at is, is totally okay. And if people are trying to tell you differently, like that's unfair because they don't know your life. They, they don't know the path that you're on. And just because they were on a different path doesn't mean anything. How many dates before having sex? 
Oh, there's no rules. There's no rules. I don't know if this is like you're asking me how many dates you should go on or how many. Th no rules. If you want to sleep with someone on the first date, go for it. If you want to sleep with someone on the fifth date, tenth date, go for it. If you sleep with someone on the first date, it doesn't mean that they're not gonna date you. If you sleep with someone on the fifth date, it doesn't mean that they're gonna date you. You have to do what you feel best doing and what is most comfortable for you. Trusting someone new. This one's actually difficult, especially if you've been hurt in the past. It's kind of funny that you just like meet someone that you have to like trust them. It's like, what? <laughs> you haven't done anything to fucking prove my trust, but you also haven't done anything to break it. So it's like kind of confusing. I think, yeah, you just kind of have to like fall let it happen i just i always think it like the worst that could happen is it doesn't go well and then i'm I, i'm i'm done and then i'm just single again it's like okay your new relationship isn't any past relationships and if this person hasn't done anything to you it doesn't mean it like they aren't the other people who have hurt you in the past what is my love language and do we have the same ones i love love languages i think that they are so true and so accurate my love languages are words of affirmation and quality time with a little bit of sprinkle of physical touch in there i love when a man walks past me and not like i don't need like coddling you know like ah. but i love like when we're out and like a guy like grabs your leg or like he puts his hand on your back or like, you know, if he walks by you, if you're like with people, he like grazes you or, you know, so just like a little bit of like physical touch to like affirm that he sees you. Ooh, mm, mm. Jonathan's are, um, I don't know if he's okay with me telling everyone, but I'm gonna do it anyway. His are acts of service and quality time with also sprinkle a little physical touch in there. Yeah, I'm just very vocal about my love languages and I'm like, I understand that you show your love the same way that you receive it most of the time. And if you show your love through acts of service, that is so great and I do appreciate that, but I also need words of affirmation. Thank you so much. Thanks for coming to my TED talk. Not getting jealous over his exes. They aren't together anymore, so that's on that. Unless he's giving you a reason to do that, like, what's there really to be like jealous of like they dated it's over and i kind of think about it like if they didn't do that or if i wasn't in a past relationship or whatever like would i even have ended up here especially if like they didn't know you while they're dating someone's like what 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 do you mean <laughs> like everyone has a history everyone has a past it's having sex regularly necessary every relationship is different every relationship is going to require a different amount of um sex i think it is but regularly might be different for everyone age gap mm, i think it depends on the actual age like so i know someone asked if like they're 17 and they're trying to date someone who's 24 and like to me that's very inappropriate because i don't think that a 24 year old should be trying to get with a 17 year old like you're underage and like that's kind of strange i think when you are both in your 20s or whatever and beyond once you reach legal age i think an age gap is like if your relationship works, your relationship works. Uh, I'm 27, Jonathan's 33, not a huge age gap, but an age gap and it's fun. But yeah, there's people who have great relationships with no age gap, with 10 years, with five years, with 20 years, like, yeah. How do I maintain single life in a relationship? Oh, honey, this is super important to me. I, I really do need to, to have independence in a relationship. I think just like doing things for yourself, doing things by yourself, hanging out with your friends, still going out with just your friends and really like doing things for you will make you feel like you still have that independence. Like that's kind of how I, how I do it. I, when I want to hang out with my friends, I go and hang out with them. When I want to hang out with my boyfriend, I go and hang out with him. When I want to hang out with them all together, I hang out with them all together, but like I still do things by myself and for myself. There's a lot of questions about Instagram photos and your boyfriend liking Instagram photos. I think every situation, again, is different. Like, is he not liking your photos and liking these other girls' photos? Is he liking photos of one girl and like commenting on them? Are they just like famous butthole girls? Are they like porn star? Like what? what's the situation? If they're like friends. Like I like all my guy friends photos. So why wouldn't my boyfriend be able to like all of his girlfriends photos? Like he's allowed to have girlfriends. I'm not gonna be the only woman in his life. That's so stupid. So, but I understand if like you're, if you vocalize like, if your boyfriend's just like straight up liking fucking naked and bikini photos of all these different women and like that's it. 
and you're like and you say like hey that makes me feel uncomfortable he should be like oh i totally understand i'll stop because th that shouldn't mean that much to him but he's like i need to i need to like the butthole girls photos then you should be like are you fucking good relax like i don't like it so you know if it's bothering you that he's liking his friends photos then that's something that you need to really work on but if it's bothering that he's liking like a bunch of like naked girls on the internet and that's something that you would like him to maybe not do as much i think you just need to tell him why it's bothering you and have a conversation about it have i been played yes i have been cheated on been played how did i get bored in a relationship my mom used to tell me that if i was bored i was actually boring she's like only boring people get bored and i was like <laughs> true i don't know I'm, i've never been bored in a relationship I, I'm, I just date fun people i make things fun i'm fun <laughs> i feel like if you're bored Maybe you don't want to be in that relationship anymore. Someone to think about. Long distance relationships. Not for the faint of heart, let me tell you. They're very difficult. I've been in one. It didn't end well for me. I mean, if it works for you, it works for you. But they're hard. They definitely require like work and trust and travel. <laughs> when did I decide to post my mans? Oh, it says, when do you decide to post your mans? Everyone's different. I would normally wait for him to post that's kind of my rule i did post like on my story and stuff but also like really depends on their social like my boyfriend's kind of like anyways in his 30s but it's like are you in your 30s or are you in your 80s i don't actually know if you know how to use social media i just felt whenever it was like ready but maybe after i love you i don't know i don't really know it's really up to you but honestly just wait till he does it first <laughs> This was actually brought up more than I thought it was going to be. How to feel secure about your skin the first night a guy stays over or like you stay over at a guy's house if you have pimples. And I hear you. I feel you. A little different for me because if you just search my name on the internet, like ugly photos of me will come up. <laughs> or like videos of me with no makeup on will come up. So it's like, well, everyone's already seen it. If someone makes you feel bad about your skin or you take your makeup off and someone's like, ew, I would literally be like, ew, you, you're disgusting. Don't ever speak to me or my son ever again. <laughs> no, but for real, like someone shouldn't make you feel like shit about your skin. It's just your skin, you know, that's not your personality. That's not who you are. There's nothing to really be ashamed about or anything like that. Like. I used to literally want to sleep with my makeup and that's so disgusting so don't do that just take off that makeup and rock that skin because you know what's sexy confidence and if you're like yeah that's my fucking skin i'm dealing with acne i'm a human do you have anything to say sir and he's gonna be like no you're fucking hot and you're like yes i am thank you so much so yeah that is it thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for Bet to better help for sponsoring this video if you have any follow-up questions let me know and i love you all peace and love Bye.